What's going on with you, Gabe? We're out at the sunny beaches of San Diego. San Diego. Uh, PB mm, Bar and PB. Grill. What do you think? I'm alive. Yeah? Live in the Trump world. Yeah, I know. How is your girl? She's good. Oh, we haven't seen her in a while. We've I've never still met her. Never met her. her. Why yeah. didn't you bring her to the fights? Oh, she had an event. She does events on the weekends. Ah, That's how she makes the her money. Events, her cool people, huh? That's her job. Her cool friends <laughs> with Steven Soderbergh, right? No, really, Scott. You keep saying Steven Soderbergh. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, a lot of people are doing lots of fancy things. Mm. Except really, us, babe. I'm happy for you. Thank I really you. am. And last night, if you guys have a ch- chance, and I'd like to plug him, my very dear friend Paul Mobley, he's a photographer. If you go to Paul Mobley, mm. Studios.com. You can see some of his work. He's done a lot of people. Alice Cooper, Tom Hanks, a lot of people. And he came to my house and we did some Tiger Belly photo shoots tonight. Yeah. Oh, cool. Last night at my house here. And the one he liked the best was when me and Kalila were completely naked. Oh. Mm -hmm. But which I was completely unprepared for because I thought that we were probably, initially, I thought that we were going to go to a studio Mm -hmm. or some place that he chose. And I thought, Gobi. Gobi, I swear to fucking God, I'm allowing you to be in the room. I told you not to allow her in here. I know, here. but I gave her a shot, all right? So, Put hey, her on your lap. Hey, hey, Gobi. Gobi. Come here, stop. Gobi. Stop. Oh, Stop. Wow. Okay? You're allowed to be in here or you want to be in the cage. Uh, my love. Okay, steel cage, Gobi. Steel cage. Um, so go ahead. What about Paul? I didn't know that I... I thought I was going to be clothed and we were probably going to do something in like costume. Yeah. So I didn't know that I had to be naked and I've, I'm have i on my period and completely bloated. Yeah. So I was like frantic. My sister and I were frantically trying to draw abs on me <laughs> using You drew a abs? Oh, yeah, yeah. You drew true. abs? Yeah, I was yeah, fucking... Yeah. I was so desperate. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? I need to get... I was completely naked, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my belly was just poofed out all the way. And I, my sister was like, wait, wait a second. I have a bronzer. Let's just try and draw you some lines in your belly. We fucking cheated. I yeah. Got the job it done. didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I He's looked bloated as fuck. Well, did you see what I look like? Thank God he was next to me. Thank God. I look like Boba. <laughs> wait, wait, like, like I just tapioca look. tapioca ball? Yeah, I look... So what? bad. He's like, hey, man, check this out. Check this out. I would look in the thing, and I would just see a big brown ball. <laughs> like, I look so bad. <laughs> and and I, um, you know what? I think I'm I'm ready for life change. Like a physical? Yeah. You think, always say that no, every week. No, no. This time it's real. Whip out, How, the, okay, sta- give whip me, out the steroids. You know, okay, you. Hey, hold on one second. Instead, okay, right now, your whole life, every t- your approach to fitness is Trump's approach to politics. You say it, but you have no actual agenda. Give How me dare your you? Poli- he has you have no agendas. policy. Fucking give me delineate for me everything. Give me your All right, agenda. I'm gonna say this right now, okay? You seem to think that I've never worked out before. I don't uh, think stop. that. I cut. Re- Let's cut. cut. Hold on. Take it to one again. You took steroids. Cut. I know you worked out. I know. All right, I, took I look <laughs> I good. Know. Too. I, look good. <laughs> I was angry, but really look good. He was I look fucking gear. shredded yeah, yeah. for a year. I still have some in the house. Deca, I don't know where they are. Deca, Winstrial. It's HPP or something. I don't no, know. that's HGH. That's not fucking. That's, oh, well, that's human growth, growth hormone. hormone. That's not anyway. anabolic steroids. I still took it anyway. He got ripped. <laughs> <laughs> but it's here's what I'm going to do. Here's you. what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I, I'm going to eat better. So I'm mm-hmm. going to take some carbs out of my diet, and all sugars. Yeah. And I'm going to go to my gym, the boxing gym that I used to go to. I'm going to mm-hmm. renew new my thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go there once a day. Each day is going to be different. One day I'm going to do purely treadmill because you have to trick your body muscle confusion right muscle, muscle confusion yeah and then the next day i um because you don't understand that many years ago abby got me a hollywood trainer yeah. oh you had a and personal I, trainer oh yeah and i and i spent thousands and thousands of dollars and i met with him every other day yeah and i so i know the rigam and roll of the gym life my my <laughs> issue with you and yeah. i already know where it fails for you no is that the th- you go so hardcore that it's not a sustainable lifestyle you have I, to go according to something that you feel you can carry out for the rest of your life so it's like no you shouldn't work out I'm, seven days a week all and nothing. just eat sashimi oh you get That's addicted not, you get addicted to working no out it's not that healthy. he goes so extreme for three weeks no no only eats sashimi for years you n- fuck no, <laughs> B- bitch. You don't remember, dude. You don't know. I swear to God, ask Ike Barinholtz, because when Matt TV got canceled, I was pretty fat. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then a couple years later, he hadn't seen me, and I, I had a um, birthday party at Buco di Peppo, my favorite Italian restaurant. Mm. What about Spaghetti Factory? Yeah, that's my second favorite. <laughs> <laughs> my second favorite. <laughs> and I, um, he saw me, and he goes, dude, what the fuck? I mean, I transformed myself. And then I, that was two years of working out and eating really good. Damn. And that's because I, I used to go, I mean, I used to do ridiculous things like only eat at um, Whole Foods. So I would oh. just get sashimi and their um, vegetable rolls. It was all vegetables. Mm-hmm. And I would drink that coconut, naked coconut water, right? Yeah. And that's it every meal. Yeah, but could Stuff you like live that. like Two that years? for the rest of your life? I'm just saying I'm all or nothing. So I'm at a point now where I might be done with destiny. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I'm. You're, you love it, man. You're good at it, I, I, I'm, Listen to me right now, man. I hit a bot. The only way I can change anything is if I hit a bottom. Uh-huh. And it's sad to say, but I have to look. I have to be able to look in a crystal ball and go, "Oh my God, my life is going to go nowhere," or "This is not going to end up good for you." And then my and then I just force myself to change. Mm. That's I've been that, like that with drugs. I've been that with weight. I've done that with video games. I've done it with all kinds of stuff. You guys haven't witnessed it because it takes. I can, I can take a lot of spiritual rape. What I mean by that is, is that I can I can really hold in a lot of like, you know, depression and anger and all that stuff and being beaten down. I can I could withstand it, but there comes a breaking point, and right now I'm about to have a breaking point, especially with destiny. You know, it's just like, it's getting out of hand. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not there yet, mm-hmm. but it's coming. What would trigger it? Um. I think a couple of more months of not working on something like, um, cause you know, this year I was lucky. I had some things I was doing. I love. would do love. I would do, but I don't know if love's going to be here for me next year. I don't know a lot of things. So, you know, those things have to go away for me to, um, motivate to change. So then when I change, I'm going to go to more AA meetings. I'm going to eat better and work better and be better to my lady. Ooh. <laughs> but, you know, I have thrown to. Thrown into the mix. I like that. But I have to, um, I have to be battered, battered to the point where I do it. Mm. Because for me, pain and suffering is the biggest motivator. So when people go, my life isn't working out. I'm depressed. I want to kill myself. I go, good. Sit in it. Because if you don't change, you're good. that's it. And I know myself. I know I'm going to change.